Good afternoon again everyone, it's Spec Operator 4 here. It is Tuesday the 5th of May 2015 and I'm going to go a little off schedule here. I had planned to do the uh, Viper Odinos and I don't know, I'm just going to do a little knife uh, collection video. Got a few requests and over the last few weeks I've probably gotten in about maybe 15, 16 new knives. So. I'm kind of doing this for myself too. I sometimes forget what I have and haven't really spent much time with each of them yet. And the others in this case here, my 1450, I've collected over the last year and a half. I've only been doing it that long. Uh, always been into knives, just never collected them. Always been more of a firearms collector. So now all of my time and uh, finances <laughs> other than my family are going into my knives. All right, so this is the 1450. Got this filled up, got knives stacked everywhere, and had to go with the 1200 as well over here. So um, let's get right into it. I'm not going to go through the specs and everything, guys. Here's my knife collection so far. To show you what I have, uh, have or at least I'm going to be doing reviews on most of these knives. So let's jump right in. Let's start at the top here. The top row is supposed to be my Spider Co's. Um, kind of had to mix and match a few take out a few uh, less expensive Spydercos and add the more expensive, the ones I, I favor more. Um, so let's get started. Of course we got our Paramilitary 2 here. Okay, everybody knows this one. I also have this in the Camo and Satin Blade and also in the S35VN Brown. Okay, those are in boxes. Right here we got our, oh, that's not supposed to be here. Well, there we go, guys. CRKT, the Hoot Nanny. What a great knife, really. 40 bucks, can't beat this knife. Great action. Okay, anyway. I don't know how that got in there. Actually, we got one Spartaco out of the three here. This is a Quartermaster, okay. Just got this the other day. This is a limited run. 300 I got a 102 this is a great knife chunky beefy just stout great knife guys um, QTF something something I think is the uh, the model number I'm not sure like I said I just got this in that was a gift from a friend of mine moving right along go to our Spyderco Gale Bradley classic Spartaco knife, one of my top fives. CPM M4, just a gorgeous knife. All right, I heard there is a Gale Bradley 2 coming out. All right, it's supposed to be out in a few months. Looking forward to that. Great knife right there. Okay, let's get into our Sages. Don't have the Sage one, never really went for it. I know it's a great knife. Um, here we go with our Sage 3. For some reason I've I've had them. I've just gotten rid of the Sage ones for some reason in trades and in stuff like that. So this is the Sage three, and this is my here we go Sage two. This is the titanium. Okay, everybody has that, or at least you should if you don't. All right, great knife, three inch blade on both of these sages back to our birch chubby this is new this year 2015 cpm s30 blade steel i had said in my review of this knife that that pocket clip right there was titanium and i believe it's just a stone washed uh, stainless steel okay frame lock great knife okay birch chubby all right, then we got our Technos. Of course, you guys know I have four of these. <laughs> I love the Techno, okay? What a great knife. All right, for your smaller EDC, which I don't actually have a lot of smaller EDCs, but that's one of my faves. All right, let's go into the Spyderco Domino. I got rid of my original Domino and got the Bento Box version, the 204P, the blue G10 on it kind of gotten rid of my, or I'm trying to, and get the sprint runs or the higher end models, 
Um, here we go with our Rubicon. Okay. Great knife. International knife of the year a couple years ago. Flipper S30V blade steel, which I still think should be a little bit, a little better, little better blade steel for the, for the price point on this. I think it's 275 now. It's dropped a little bit. Orange backspacer there is cool. Here we go with the PTT, PPT. Had the original, got rid of that, and got the Sprint Run, the all black. Great knife, love that. Comes with this uh, cube lanyard, S30. V blade steel great choice guys triggers in the rear we're in the clear back here okay so please relax we got our techno techno tenacious all right I think this was my first spider co along with many others first spider co of course I had to get the green g10 Tenacious, great knife. Okay. Trying to go through these as fast as possible. I use these. Um, this is my, what is this? Not persistence. Yeah, persistence. Okay, this is the smaller version to the Tenacious. Let's get into our ZTs over here. All right. Just did reviews on these bad boys. Okay. We got a 0620 CF, 0630, and the ZT 0620. Okay, boys, I have duplicates of the 0630. Um, That's my favorite 600 series. Said that to you guys before. What an incredible knife. Now, my thumb is all messed up here, but look at those grind lines on that. Number 195. All right. Put those bad boys away. This is with the 204P. And this is just the tactical black with the LMAX. Alright, let's go into some more ZTs. 0900. Okay, great little pocket rocket right there. My only benchmate I carry in my case. Uh, this is the case where these are all my top knives in here. Okay, guys. Um, this case over here has got more of my CRKTs and, you know, lower end model knives. So I've had to replace a lot of these recently. This is the only bench made that I will use or have in this case. I do have a couple more bench maids, but uh, this is the Barrage. I de assisted it. I mean, it is just. What a great knife this is. I had to stuff it somewhere. I guess I stuffed it there with the ZTs. Of course, we know our. <laughs> King of the jungle here, the O200. All right, big boy. Needed uh, two slots wide for that one. All right, let's get into flippers over here. Some more ZTs. All right, you guys have seen these on my channel. All right, we got the O560s, the anodized. All right, and then the uh, all black. All right. God, I hope this video is not long, too long. Just trying to race through this for you. May not get to all of them. Here are my 0562s. Yes. This is my favorite model. <laughs> okay, I know it's a little silly. All right, but it is what it is. Um, both LMAX and then the uh, 204Ps down here. All right, this is the blue anodized. Excuse my texts. Rainbolt. And then, of course, just the uh, regular 204 piece. And I got two of those. You never have, <laughs> you never have too many of these. Okay, they go out of stock faster than the paramilitary twos. Um, so those are my four 0562s. These are my 0566s. I had a comment on here. Um, somebody asked me a question about my M390 versions, which are both of these. One is the assisted and one is assisted, so this is the assisted. That's mine. Well, <laughs> they're all mine, but this is the one I would use. Okay, haven't yet. And he asked me about the stone washing on uh, both blades if they go all the way to the end. And they do. Okay, both sides here go all the way up, and I think that's what you were asking me. Um, he said his stone wash 
finished a little early on one side on the top here and didn't go all the way down. Um, anyway, we'll get to that later. All right, so these are my three 0566s. This is my black wash edition. Edition. Black wash edition. All right, serial number 88, low one. Loving that. All right, throw these away in here. All right, go down to the bottom and okay, let's just do my two microtechs here. This is the uh, two-tone, okay, just a uh, plain edge on one side here. All right, these are the ultratechs, bayonet, tan, okay, great knives, and we got our Kaisers. <laughs> it's my first Kaiser, I think this is the 401B, what a beautiful knife. My second Kaiser, 401C. And this is my favorite Kaiser, as of now, the Dorado. What a great knife. All S35VN, titanium, top notch, uh, fit and finish on these. This push button here is, like I've said, just the most incredible push button I've ever felt on a knife. Um, just molds to your finger. Alright, so we got that. I don't know if we're going to be able to get all of these in frame here. God, it's going to be a long video, huh? We got our Decepticon. <laughs> no, I called it that. I think it looks like that custom knife. Um, I think it's the Deception. Deception. Decepticon. It's the shadow. Alright. There we go. 4-4. No, 401 DT1. Am I getting those in there? Okay. Alright, then we got more more Kaisers. Okay. Got more Kaisers, more Kaisers, more Kaisers. I mean, for the price, you just can't beat it, so I mean, why not get a, a lot of them, huh? <laughs> Alright. Guess I should have planned this out just a little better. Probably gonna have to edit some of this, but this is my first knife collection video and I just wanted to do it now before I get any more knives and I will never be able to keep up with all of them. These are my two Odinos, called them Odinos, but it does make sense to say Odino because the god Odin. Alright, look at that Viper Odino. I mean, this is just an incredible knife. Of course, you can see I had to get the titanium all titanium and the carbon fiber titanium noticeably lighter guys noticeably and actually this one came a lot smoother out of the box all right okay let's go into our flippers our browse blade silent soldier flipper g10s gotta have the acid wash and the satin okay and then let's go into our dpx heat okay it's a full titanium, gorgeous. And then the limited edition. Okay, with the 208 out of 250. Okay, great knives, love these. I know I say that about probably all of them, huh? All right, my small Sebenza. Okay, glorious Sebenza, large, 21 here. Got the small riddled right here. All right, the Insingo and the StarTac Omnimzon, guys, okay? Like I've said before, my favorite Chris Reeves knife right here. They're not clean, and I mean, they're not wiped down. I'm sorry, I'm trying to fit it all in, okay? So, so far, that is this knife case. We're never gonna be able to get into the 1200. Um, thanks, and I guess we'll do a continuation, uh, part two soon, okay? Just bored. Hope this uh, entertains someone. God bless everyone. <laughs>